Hello there, we're looking at uh, The Witch and the Hundred Knight, which is the new um, Nipponichi game. Um, I've got a, a, a few sort of housekeeping things just to um, clear up first. This isn't in HD, unfortunately the only way I can capture is through a USB um, sort of capture thing, which means capturing in composite. Um, or component, sorry. No, composite, yeah, because it's composite, composite, that's how you remember it. Um, so if the image is not in the right ratio or something, I, I'm struggling with it. I can't even get it to capture sound, so any sound you're hearing is coming from the microphone that I'm wearing to do the speech. Uh, yeah, I apologise for all of this, but hopefully it comes out looking okay, and um, you can at least make out what the game is and what it involves. Um, let's see if I have any these. I don't, so I might have to load in a, a different save. Right, so, you are the Hundred Knight, this little guy here, who has some attacks. Um, in the top left corner you can see, oh I've been poisoned, um, let's attack these things. Now, already you can see uh, a problem with the game. And that is that you can't always see what's going on. Um, okay, let's chase this guy down. Uh, so in the top left, you see where it's 89 and it's counting down. So it's, um, it'll be 88 in a minute. Um, oh. That is, it's kind of your calorie counter and everything you do requires energy. So if you, um, you have the health bar next to it, the 128 by 128. If I take damage, so I was poisoned before, and there's like four guys here, so I'll probably uh, take some damage. Um, to refill my health, it will regenerate over time, but um, it uh, it will burn calories quicker. But just moving and um, doing anything really will we'll pick up, uh, will take calories. Um, what you can do is consume enemies, which will, um, I'll just pause this so I can talk. Uh, consuming enemies, you get a quick time thing, which is just hammer and triangle. And uh, you will uh, sort of absorb some calories back, but it's not a lot. De and depending on what type of enemy, those little, um, uh, I guess they were like crab things or something that were attacking me. Um, or beetles, I guess, rather than crabs, because they're in the wood. Um, they won't give you a lot back, but that big snail that I thought that you might not have been able to make out, that will give me more. So let's trigger this cutscene. Okay, so this is relatively early in the game. I think the save said I was about seven hours in. Um, Metallia who is the person floating above my head, is quite a powerful witch. She sort of, I assume she wasn't going to be very powerful. Um, but she actually is fairly powerful. Um, but she can't leave the swamp. She's a swamp witch and she wants respect. She wants, you know, I'm not entirely sure what her ultimate motivations are. Um, but she uh, she is actually pretty capable. No one takes her seriously. Uh, so she summoned you, the Hundred Knight. Um to do a bidding because she can't leave the swamp until um, the uh, I see it to the right hand side I'm gonna go hit it now anyway this thing the pillar every time you open well you need a, a kind of giant pillar the end the level kind of pillar she can then um, it turns the entire area into a swamp and she can then travel there because it's uh, it's a swamp then so um, there's another cutscene coming up. Um, what else to tell you? Uh, let's see if I can absorb this guy. Uh, oh no, I can't quite do enough damage, I don't think. Nope. Oh, sorry, that's the problem, you see. You, um, you have a lot of... Uh... Okay, this is going to be a different part of the game to show. Um, you have... You, you have sort of five attacks, um, or potentially a five hit combo. Uh, you select, you don't have to put um, different weapon types in all of them, but I, I did. Um, 
and it's because certain enemies are weak to certain things, so the plant life don't like slash attacks. So swords and um I forget what else you'd call them, like uh Yeah, no, gone completely out of my head. Um and then there's hammers that do blunt attacks, so the armoured things like the snails and the beetles, they don't like um blunt attacks. And then there's magic attacks, so there's certain enemies that are weak to magic. Um Right, this is a this isn't a particularly big part of the game, but you see there they have got the option to raid or visit. Now this is a, an item shop, and I am level fifteen. This is um, my level is in the top, very top left. Um, I will take over this and get the sexy blue short, uh, sword uh, for my troubles, like as a reward. It's like a family treasure thing. This doesn't really factor in at all, um, other than getting items and. If I go back in, not so much on this one because it's a, a shop, but if I were to go back in to one of these, I'd get, um, so let's get this, I'd, uh, I'd be rewarded in some way with, say, getting my health back or getting some stamina back or something. Um, I'm not actually sure what the, uh, the point of all this was, whether I was supposed to just go and talk to people or... Um, I think I possibly need to, um, well there's a, an exclamation mark on the map so let's go there, uh, push the map, okay the circle around me there is my stamina. So you've got the um, the health stuff on the top left. But oh, there's a, a chest. Um, so you see it attacking if I just launch a combo. Uh, uses that up. As does dodging. Which I will dodge. I uh, didn't really dodge very well. So you can see I'm, I'm limited as to how often I can attack there without running out of stamina. Um, so sprinting falls into that as well. Um, so this guy needs magic, I think, or maybe he needs hammer. Either way, it's uh, it's worth trying to capture him and kill him. Okay, I've got a, a special sword from him. Uh, so you saw there one of the problems with the game is that in these areas it gets a bit better later on, but um, you can't always see what's going on. Um, okay, let's kill this guy. These are, are witch things. Um, you can't really do a lot with them other than kill them. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see what other systems to explain quickly. The top right, if I get into some combat here. Oh, this guy's following me around. That's the, um, the mood of the enemy. Oh, I could have uh, thingied that guy then. Uh, there we go, I can consume this guy. So the problem with consuming them is you get your health back, or you get some uh, stuff back. But you also, you see 6% back. You also get garbage, so if I push up, I go to my stomach. Um, let's check contents. And this garbage just filling up the, uh, the stomach contents. You do unlock more of these. Uh, there's uh, there's chests in the in the world that you can just sort of open up. They're, they're fairly rare and you only unlock one at a time but I'm up to something like 20 or 30 or something like that so um, yeah it means you can carry more stuff and there's items you can use to get rid of so you see use items and bowel dump and common up chuck. Get rid of uh, trash that you've collected so you can keep going. Um, so let's kill this guy. So you see the uh, the motions on the top right there. So is there someone else to attack? There must be. Um, I that doesn't seem to factor in hugely, um, as far as I could tell. It's basically stuff like you can't. Um, oh, the enemies will become more aggressive, or they'll they run away from you, and it, it makes it maybe a bit more difficult. Um, but it's not, um, yeah, it doesn't 
have a huge bearing on gameplay. There's a lot of systems like that that don't really affect the gameplay too much. Uh, one of them, if I uh, now I've, you know, unlock this pillar, if I click to activate, so you can set it as a the spawn point. I think that's default to that, and I can go back to my base from here, which if I'm running low on calories, so I'm at 73, so I've got plenty, or if I'm full on items, or I just want to go back and grind in an area, that's the reason to go back to base. Um, this distribute grade points, if you can see under the 73 on the top left, you can maybe just about make it out, it says grade 5, and there's a, a green meter sort of bending round, uh, it's actually mostly black there. The more enemies I kill, the more that fills up, that means I get grade points, so I'm going to distribute these. The bottom one gets you some calories back, so that will go to, um, instead of 73, it will go to 83 presumably, so let's spend the point and see if that does it. Yeah, so it's gone up to 83. And then you can boost your defense, uh, health. This is like your special attack, which I, I never use. If I use it, it's an accidental thing. Uh, I've got one left. Let's boost attack. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, yeah, I do know what that does. Uh, we haven't got any of these at the minute. I have plenty further in the game. Um, you need them. The little. Um, like one of the main or the first one you get is a bomb, essentially. And you, it's like a little creature you call in and you. Uh, this, you essentially just chuck it and it, um, it'll it blow up obstacles um, so kind of needed for certain points in the game there's ones that capture enemies so you can uh, get special items from them and uh, I've got one that's like a, an arrow or uh, it's like ninja stars actually but it, it's a projectile to um, to take out enemies um, oh sorry to, <laughs> to activate things in the distance uh, there's one area where you're supposed to do that and it doesn't work. You need a wand. Um, okay, here we go. So you can see he's got like uh, this fear there and stuff. I can't actually make out what's there. Um, so this, these guys here that I'm just chasing down. Early on, they um, were a nightmare. Uh, they um, they run away and they can do magic as well. So it's sort of a they just, um, yeah, they, I, I wasn't leveled up enough, which is one of the problems I have with this, or one of the issues I've run into is that I finished Act, I say Act 1 or Act 2, I'm not sure, finished a chunk of the game anyway, and um, fairly early on, went into this area, um, or a similar area, and got hammered, just couldn't get through it. Just really difficult, kept dying and dying and dying. I was the same level as the things attacking me, and I was just getting battered. Um, it, oh. uh, yeah, so you can see the status effects in the game as well. So I, I was dizzy, but there's also sleep. Uh, oh, I need to dodge him, Let's take him out. Uh, and there's, there's things like, you see, my grade went up there. Um, and that thing on the right hand side actually is. Um, there's bonuses, so you press left on the D-pad, and these are the potential bonuses. I'm up to level 3. Um, the weed gum right at the top is actually not... It's just kind of random order, so weed gum is, is 10 health back or something like that. It's not a great item, really. And you, you Generally, you have quite a lot of them. Um, that blue sword at this level might be more powerful. The 100-day roll is a calorie thing. So you can stay out in the world more. That's pretty useful. So I'd, I'd stay until I got that definitely. Um, yeah. Now, what was I complaining about? <laughs> the uh, yeah, oh yeah, status effect. So there's um, there's sort of witch time and and thing. I forget what it's called, but it's basically it's you, if you dodge at the right time, you. Uh, let's see if I can do it. Yeah. There you go. I'm incredible at games. And it just it slows everyone down and um, you know, gives me an advantage. It's not it's not that easy to do. Um, oh, you see I haven't really got enough uh, stamina to keep attacking there so I need to just move away a bit. Oh, they're all dead anyway. I'm going to take the uh, thingy off. Okay, let's move out of the way of him, because he's quite powerful. But he's one that you see the blunt did uh, really well there, so the hammer attack did really well. Um, and there's one behind that I can't 
T, or this, this thing here. Um, so I think these only take damage from magic, I think. Might be wrong. Uh, they're not enemies as such, they just fill up your grade. Um, okay. So yeah, like I, said, I, was, I was really struggling uh, with this area initially. Um, it may not have been this particular level, it might have been the level before. So I went and did the first couple of levels and um, grind, just did some grinding for a night, I don't know, um, gained a few levels. And uh, it didn't, it, you know, it didn't seem to make a huge amount of difference, I still seemed to be struggling. What it turned out to be was, um, so I've got four, uh, let's, just, let's just go back to base. What it turned out to be was... Uh, you have different. I think I'm not sure what they're called exactly, but they're called. This this bench. Sorry, they're essentially stances. They're these two here. You see why I got excited because they were on the screen. Facets they're called. So I have a master facet and a sub facet, and uh, I've unlocked a third one at the point I'm at. Um, I hadn't activated the second one. I hadn't added it. Once I added it, my level went up. So every time I grinded or did some grinding, ground. Um, the second one gains some levels, so it's level 11 compared to my level 15. Um, I, I haven't ever switched to it, I've never needed to. Um, its stats are always behind the master facet, so why would you pick it? I'm not entirely sure. Um, the third one does at least increase, there's some uh, rare item, well not rare, I guess it's a currency. Um, it increases the drop rate for that, so that's useful to have. But it co seems to combine the stats for all of them, certainly if you have all three attached, or in this case two, if you have all of them selected, both of them selected, my stats are better. So it's worth having them both on, or you are supposed to have them on. Um, it's a bit of a problem with the game is that it doesn't... Um, I, know, I should have stayed to get that other one, should I? Um, that's a bit of a problem with the game in that it doesn't... Um, it doesn't go into detail. In fact, really early on, this sort of stuff is what it says. It says that there's 50 tool tips uh, on loading screens. You'll learn the game through them. So it doesn't spell things out particularly well. Um, so it was only when I uh, went to this thing. So I could raid. This is um, my Metallia, my boss's place. I need to be level 70. Um, there's a weapon shop in this area that is such a few something like level 17. And I was level 17 and getting hammered in there. I was level 18, 19, 20. And it was only when I was about like 21, 22 that I managed to beat it. So I suspect you'd actually have to be higher than level 70 in this. Um, but if I visit. Um, go to facet change. Let's see if I can. Uh, okay, so you see my uh, stats dropping there 118, 122. And then 139, 152. So, like I say, uh, I've got a third one unlocked, so presumably depending. So I know there's secret um, secret endings in the game, um, or extra endings, so I'm not entirely sure how you get them as such, but um, yeah, so I'm not sure what's locked away, what I'll actually get to see. Um, but I'm, like I say, I'm relatively far in, um, certainly further than this. Uh, what else to show you? Okay, yeah, so we got um, we got some items, so we'll see if they're any good. Um, now the thing to show you on this screen is, you can see sort of halfway across it says Lance, um, but then it's to the left of the Lance it's got an icon, and it's three, it's like a little circle with three dots, and three there, and then four there, four, five. If you get, say, one, two, three, four, five, you'll get combo, 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 combo all the way down. Um, and be more powerful, but there's, um, let's see what, we did get a better weapon. So let's go back, that's, um, that does 35 damage and has a special effect, and we got, was it this, or this? Um, oh, that's a lance, so we need to get rid of the blue sword, probably. Oh, we could get rid of one of these, let's get rid of that. Um, so it's 23, and that has a special effect. So we'll go with go with this. And you can see they're, they're leveled up as well, these weapons. So the more you level them up, the more damage they do. So that starts out at 22, but it will go to 
more, presumably. Um, and uh, the rarity level as well it generally says it's usually it's a better sword, obviously, within um, within some... Uh, like, so, Sexy Blue Sword is an epic rather than a legendary um, or rare and common and stuff, so um, there you go. So they're two different Oh, the same sword, but one's rare, one's common. It means that if I level that up, it would probably get better. It have some special effect or something. Um, so we'll we'll add this, and it's a, a level two. So we'll put it there. Um, two, three. Let's put that next. So there we go. And there's this uh, defense stuff as well. So you've, you've got these. Uh, I don't know if I picked a, up a better one. Doesn't look like it. Uh, no. And they have sort of resistance to magics and um, poison and, and things like that. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure what else there is to show you really. Um, so we've got to go back here. So this is the world map, I guess. Um, I'm sort of over here somewhere now. Uh, you you go up here as well. Uh, and presumably, you know, that looks like a big important castle, doesn't it? Maybe that's the last bit of the game. Um, and yeah, it sort of shows you how far through you are, 52%, which, you know, uh, I might be able to get to the boss, actually, on this bit. Um, but yeah, anything you pick up goes into your stomach. You can't use it until you leave the game world, so you need to go back out of uh, the level and then go and equip it. I think that's right, anyway. Um, in the same way, if you get experience, which you do, it's um, you can see it underneath the map there. Um, that doesn't get added until you um, until you head out of the level. So I, f I think I might possibly be able to get to. Uh, Okay, so that fire attack's really useful because it um, it homes in. Oh, and you see, I'm out of energy now, so I'll just keep doing my first attack over and over. Um, but I got a grade. Yeah, yeah. There's traps. Like, so because I'm losing health, uh, it will recover my health because uh, I've been poisoned. Um, but it, I'm burning calories quicker because it's having to recover my health. Um, it's annoying, but it generally isn't going to be the cause of you dying too often. I'm hoping we get a bit of uh, voice acting because I, 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 um, well, I should maybe explain this bit. There's she. I don't know. She seems very important. Um, she's a uh, witch hunter, I think who has been cursed by a, a powerful witch and uh, Metallia, the the witch in the title, the witch in the Hundred Knight isn't a very good person at all uh, but it seems no witches are and um, but this particular, this woman I forget her name, Vasil or something like that doesn't trust uh, Metallia at all and um, yeah, with some justification to be perfectly honest but she's she's still in the game for me. I'm much further on, and she's still involved. Um, I like I say I think she's fairly important. Um, but in this bit, she's come with um, two soldiers uh, to try and find the Great Witch of the Forest, who we have dealt with in a way that um, might not be everyone's cup of tea. Let's say, um, like there's. Bits of bits of this where the the sort of uh, angst and bitterness and sort of in some ways it's quite playful. So the, the swearing and it's it's beeped out or some of it's beeped out, not all of it. Um, so Metallia isn't like I say she isn't a good person and uh, sort of revels in being bad. If you play Disgaea or Disgaea, however you want to pronounce it, you will know what I mean by that. She she's that kind of um, that kind of person. Um, so if she seems she's doing something good, she's actually doing something selfish. It's just it happens to be um, beneficial to someone else as well. Um, 
So yeah, I, I quite like her as a character. I think she's alright. But she uses... I mean, she says bitch a lot and uh, whore and stuff. and uh, partic- With a particular character. Um, uh, yeah, so she's quite hateful and, and stuff. like. When they get the balance right, it's fine. But there are times where they don't. And the, the forest witch, I don't want to say what happens to her, but she would be an example of where they don't get the balance right. And... Um, yeah, I could see people um, having problems with that. Oh no. This might have been a mistake coming this way. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, this is... I keep getting distracted from, but one of the problems that I have with the game is that while I struggled before, I then ended up, um, once I've been leveled, uh, it's pretty rare then to struggle, because if you are... The enemies at the start of a level are the same level as the ones at the end of a level. So if you are... Sorry, I was looking at the map to see where we were. Um, if you are beating these guys at a level 10 at the start, but struggling a bit, you might end up heading back out and you've you'll gained a couple of levels, you've picked up better um, better weapons, better armour. Uh, you've levelled up the weapons you've got even. Um, you'll end up doing more damage and you'll be more survivable and, and um, or more hardy, I guess. Um, yeah, so it then makes the end of the level fairly easy. Uh, I'm not too sure why I'm not doing any damage to... Uh... Oh, she's been poisoned. Uh, that purple orb thing was the anima that I was on about before. Let's use a health item. Um... Yeah, so... I, I've... The problem is when it's not being difficult and you don't have to think, it's quite mashy. Um, not sure if you can uh, hear the, the voice stuff or not. Although, there wasn't much there. Um, okay, so I think that maybe healed me a bit or something. Oh yeah, this is a, this is a boss fight. Now, after giving it the big talk about how easy it is, I'll probably <laughs> probably lose to this. Um, we'll see. I'm going to skip through some of this, but because um, I haven't explained the story to you, so it's not going to make any sense at all. But basically, she needs to get some uh, three items so that Metalia can make a, an antidote for her. Um, I think Metalia knows something about her that isn't being let on, maybe, but um, yeah. Uh, so one of them is Tragedy Extract, and to do that, she needs a tragedy, which so she's trying to save her soldiers 
because she doesn't want to sacrifice them, but they they treat her badly because she's been cursed into looking like a dog. This isn't a big plot point. This is just the way the game uh, runs. It's again, it's like this here, or this guy, um, where certain bits. Um, what happens in one chapter maybe has no relevance. It's like an anime series almost. It's the same characters, but um, you know, like this bit is about her coming in and um, being treated badly by her subordinates and then um, not respecting her, but pretending to respect her and stuff. That's not going to come up again, almost certainly. But she's still in it. Um, yeah. Yeah, so Hundred Knight is a, a familiar that is summoned. He's a legendary knight, and he doesn't look like much, but he, he turns out he is actually fairly powerful. Um, can't actually remember what this boss is. But right, so you see the blue fluctuating bar? If he's about to attack... Um, uh, that goes down and he becomes more vulnerable. That's basically his guard. Um, so you want to, when it goes down, you want to start dodging. Ah, I say that. I should say I'm playing with a oh, prick hiding around there. Um, yeah, I'm playing with a bit of lag because I'm playing through my TV. Uh, sorry, through the capture thing. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to... Um, I'm not sure if I've got the power yet, or there's like a, a supercharged power that I can uh, that I can do. That I'm not sure if it's this one or whether it gets recommended that I do it in a minute. Yeah, this would be easier on a, a TV without lag. Um, yeah, in terms of the look, um, oh, is he gonna go out of there now? Um, It doesn't look. It's not a great looking game. Um, there's no two ways about that. It, it, no point. Like the art for the characters and stuff. I, I like. I like the designs. Um, let's see if I can. Yeah. So I've got. This is the superpower thing. Burns your calories more, but you do more damage. So. Um, but it, yeah, you probably see it's going down more. Yeah, there's definite lag on this. Uh, unfortunately, you can get locked into um, attacks as well, like into chains, which means if you're trying to consume people, if you're trying to be careful and precise, that that just doesn't work sometimes. So you've seen the entire stage there. Now, I'm probably a little bit over-leveled. Um, so yeah, leveled up there. Um... It might show credits and stuff, and you'll see what I mean. That it, it um, you also see what maybe you'll see what I mean about things getting taken a bit far sometimes in the script. It's been more of a problem early on than uh, later on. But yeah, we need to. Um, the big pillars I was saying about before that uh, mean that Metallica can come out of the swamp. Guardians protect them until the guardian is beaten. You can't see them. So we've beaten him. Now we can see it, and. Um, this will happen, Metallia will, will come.
yeah, sorry, I'm skipping some of this. I'm not entirely convinced you'll be able to pick it up. Like I say, it's it's only stuff that's coming through my microphone. So as long as you've got enough time to read it. Um, but yeah, it's it's not really that important. Um, I was trying to think what else you need to know, really. Um, there's, like I say, there's the uh, I forget what they're called, but like the little things you can call in, like the bombs and capture things. Is that? Um, But aside from that, um, locking on, dodging, um, that's kind of it in terms of uh, uh, in terms of combat. Uh, the stamina thing and uh, chaining weapons so that they're more powerful, having a good mix, um, and what effects they do as well is, is important. Like the lock on fire thing, I found more useful than one of the other fire, uh, one of the other magic things. So I had sword. Um, blunt weapon, sword, magic um, and the magic was technically more powerful but it did less damage because it missed more often um, whereas the fire stuff, all three things lock on and it became more useful to me so I stuck with that I went back to that even though it was technically weaker you don't really need to worry about it um, unless the thing happens to be uh, weak to magic only which is pretty rare um, Yeah, at this point she thinks that we're still the the witch of the forest rather than the swamp witch. Uh, yeah, I might um, just call it here <laughs> then, because this, I can't imagine this is particularly exciting to watch, so um, yeah, I was hoping to get some swearing, because it's juvenile, uh, so yeah, like I say, she, she doesn't like the forest witch, um, but yeah, it's juvenile as swearing is and stuff, and it, you know, it's not, it's, it's awesome, um, yeah, so um it's sometimes the script is quite funny, sometimes it's, it's badly translated, or it's it's translated in the way that um, Japanese games sometimes are, uh, where it, it's, um, you know, how can you say such things, and, and things like that, where it just it doesn't have the same impact in English. Um, so yeah, and some of the jokes don't really work. Um, but yeah, uh, when it's good, it's good. Um, the problem is, just gameplay-wise, it's the same thing all the way through. Um, which I'm still enjoying, I think it's alright, but, um, yeah, it's just not, it's not a lot more to it, and so I, it's, uh, I think it's supposed to be quite cheap in America, um, but it's still full price over here, uh, you know, uh, it seems decent length at least, and, um, yeah, so I, I, if you're, if you're looking to get it and this hasn't put you off, like I say, it becomes more, um, the trees and stuff getting in the way is only really an issue early on. Or, I mean, maybe it comes back again, but um, later on, uh, the bits I'm on, I haven't had that happen really. Um, what you do have later on is a, a level, it's not that much later on, but it's after this area really. 
um, there's ones where there's warp points and you have to find five things to destroy and um, and if you take a wrong turn somewhere or go some uh, take a, say there's um, four branching paths and you go right and then you go right again and then right again all the times you didn't go left you need to go back and do that's not much fun um, but it's again it, it it's not the worst way of grinding and um, yeah as long as you can get back to a uh, a pillar so you can walk walk back and recover your uh, energy or use items to recover your calories and stuff like that's the thing you need to remember is uh, that there's items there to be used uh, which is on the left trigger I don't think it or L2 um, and yeah I like, say so you finish a chapter you get um, you get some credits which is a bit of a weird thing but yeah um, yeah, like I say, it's, it's alright. Uh, I've got more to play before I do a proper review, um, which will be up on bitparade.co.uk. Uh, it's, uh, like I say, I don't know how much I've put in now. I guess we skip this. No, I probably won't be able to get to a loading screen. Uh, sorry, a, a bit where I can load a, a later save, so I can at least see how long I've played it for. But um, if this is seven hours in, then let's say... Um, and I've left it paused for a bit, so let's say this is six hours in then the other one must be sort of 15, 20 or something. Um, yeah, uh, the game's not changed a lot. I still, I'm not hating it, but it's the sort of thing where I might put headphones in and just keep hammering away and playing it. I certainly, whenever I feel a chapter, I want to get up and, and leave it for a bit uh, and then come back, hence it being paused for quite a long time. Um, yeah, so... Um, Obviously, I can't give you a score or anything like that now, but uh, if you were interested in it, at least you know how it plays, um, or roughly how it plays. So I sh maybe should have shown more, but this has been a pain in the arse getting it set up, and, you know, there's half hour or so here, 40 minutes, I think. So, yeah, um, as I hope this has been of some use to you. Okay, thanks very much.